Under the watchful eye of international observers, Ukrainian troops retreat from the front line. Following a deal reached with Russian-backed separatists, the rival forces are withdrawing from the key town of Zolot. Both sides resumed the pullback of weapons and forces in Zolot and continued to negotiate the disengagement in Petrovska. Both sides are literally stepping back and today they've made a huge step forward. After winning a landslide victory in April's election, Ukraine's new president, Vladimir Zelensky, has promised to make peace his priority. The de-escalation is part of the terms of a controversial peace deal, dubbed the Steinmeier Formula, agreed on October the 1st. Under the agreement, elections will take place in separatist-held East Ukraine, which could lead to the region being granted a special status. But for many Ukrainian nationalists, it comes as a betrayal. They see the move as a capitulation to Russia. How can we withdraw our forces when it's our territory that is occupied? Seven percent of our territory is occupied by Russia. In the Donbass, those fighting are Russian troops and a few collaborators. I don't understand why our forces are withdrawing. For its part, Russia denies any involvement in the conflict, claiming that only Russian volunteers are taking part in the fighting. If the drawing down of troops goes to plan, Ukraine, Russia, France and Germany are set to take part in a summit aimed at bringing peace to the territory. The five-year-old separatist conflict in eastern Ukraine has claimed over 13,000 lives and left 1.5 million people internally displaced.